So today we're going to compare the VHS to the Blu-ray of Friday the 13th from 1980. I will be using this 1988 release of the VHS, which I have found out is cut in a lot of the death scenes. So let's have a look at... So you'll notice a difference straight away where the Friday the 13th comes in at a different angle which I don't know why. But never mind that, let's get to the kill. So as usual, VHS on top, Blu-ray at the bottom. See if you can spot where the VHS cuts out. So the BBFC in the UK were very well known for cutting films, especially horror films and action films and ninja films and comedies and anything you want to watch. Uh, but for some reason they cut the bit where she falls down. I don't know if it we just had too much of an open wound for them to tolerate. But now to a sex scene, which has been cut. See if you can spot this one, which might be quite hard Ooh, if the VHS is quite dark. No sex please, we're British, or only one butt squeeze allowed per film it looks like. And who hasn't been in a room when inconsiderate people start having sex and you're trying to sleep? But maybe the VHS being darker is how it's supposed to look. No lights at all, whereas the Blu-ray is very bright indeed. Now does anyone fancy some bacon? Typical British editing at the time, you're allowed some penetration, but you're not allowed to see the happy ending. But the darkness of the VHS does hide the obvious his skin's a different colour from the neck down. As in 1980, they probably weren't expecting HD to be a thing ever. And don't forget, winners don't use drugs. And now we get to a lady with a nice axe wound. And again, they showed the violence, but then they weren't allowed to show her dropping to the floor, as if that's worse. So let's have a look at an off-screen kill, and have a look how dark it is outside. Hello? Who's that? Oh, hi. What are you doing out in this mess? The old, oh, it's you death in a film. Quite common back in those days. But the VHS being a bit darker to show how an old torch back then would look, rather than looks like he's in front of a car with about 12 lights on. So let's have a look where Jason left one of the bodies. I might start with the Blu-ray there, because I didn't see at all what happened on the VHS copy. So let's head back inside and have a look. 
through the rectangle window. What am I gonna do? <laughs> and there's me thinking what happened inside would be better with the lights on, but obviously not. So now to where Mrs. Voorhees makes an appearance, and another VHS edit. Well, that gives a new meaning to giving head. If it wasn't for the Blu-ray version, would you be able to tell what was happening there? I certainly couldn't. But there we go. I don't think the VHS is going to win this one. It's too dark and edited. So over to you for the win Blu-ray. And let's say goodbye to Friday the 13th. Silly question, but would you give the VHS a chance? Thanks for watching. Here end of the lesson.